can you understand why some of the supporters here feel that he's not committed? Can you understand that perception that they have when they see the way he started this season? Well, I think that the Yaya in the, in the last season, when uh, he was in his best moment, he always received criticism about the way he played. It's very easy to say that he must score 20 goals, but he must also defend better and, uh, and, uh, and had a better pace. A lot of things that, that always Yaya received, maybe in the way he played, yeah? but uh, I don't think that Yaya has any problem about that every bit. Are you absolutely sure you can perform very well against the very best teams? Who? Yaya Torre. Are you absolutely sure of that, that you can do that against the very best teams? I think that Yaya is a, 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 a player that, that makes a difference in big, in big games. Uh, and that's why maybe some of you are strange, why he's not in his best performance in this moment. But we are starting the season, uh, maybe he had a lot of personal problems. I think that what happened was his which is with his brother, not what say in the media, it's the feeling that you feel about that. There's a lot of things, of human thing that maybe he's not in his best performance in this, in this moment. But uh, I think that as a team, as a coach, as a club, we must support him because he's a very important player, he makes a difference. And I'm sure he will uh, re return his best performance. Do you think but he's always been criticized. Huh? Do, you, do, you think you'll be able to, do you think you'll be able to play <coughs> more often to his strengths, Manuel, particularly <coughs> in the big games when Fernando is fit and available for you? No, I don't think that this uh, team depends on one player. Last year we didn't have Fernando here and we played very well with Fernandinho and Yaya, so always important to have all the players uh, fit, but uh, me as a manager I never have excuse because I don't have one player. I just wondered whether if you have Fernando and Fernandinho available you can push Yaya further forward and, it, and it, there's not as many defensive responsibilities for him, which, which is one of the areas where he has been criticised. But why do you want to change Yaya for uh, in another position? What, what was, the best was the best player last year in the, in the no, champion? Was the, was the best player in that position? <coughs> and you want to change his position? I'm just, I'm just asking where you've Maybe, signed, maybe you've another there. possibility, another chance to play in some way in the, in the, with Fernando, Fernandinho, Ayaya, of course, because Yaya can play in both positions, but I'm not waiting for Fernando to change Yaya for position. Well, what do you see as Yaya's best position? Because Paul Scholes has said today that when he plays defensively, people like Fernandinho have the energy of two men because Yaya prefers to go forward. So is Yaya better further forward or in front of the defence? I think that you saw Yaya play last year, no? That's his best position. Was the best player because he was playing in the position where, where he likes and where he made the difference. You, you, you said he wasn't in possibly in the best form at the moment. Would you consider taking him out of the team, maybe to get his head right, if you, didn't fit, if you felt that was the best thing for him? For Yaya? But yeah, if you, if you felt that he needed a, a break, you know, for a... What I felt, what I think about the players, I talk with the player personally. Did he get, did he get that late from Cameroon last week with the Ivory Coast dog? Was he just tired? I mean, was it the flight was served? No, he didn't come late. But it was on time, but it was the, the journey that was... He didn't come late. But he was tired from the journey. No, he arrived on Friday. He didn't work with, with the team the whole week. That's why I didn't involve him in that game. But he couldn't arrive on, on, on Thursday. We know from the beginning that playing those two games with, with uh, Ivory Coast, he will arrive here on Friday. And I think it's not good for the team, not for the, play, for the team and for the player. If you arrive on Friday, you cannot play on, Sunday, on Saturday. Oh, well, just on, on Mangala, he went to the World Cup with France. Surely he must be fit by now, so why isn't he playing? Because he needs some uh, time to know the way we play in defending. I just answered that he's ready and maybe <coughs> he will involve soon in one, uh, in one team, in our team. The other important reason, because I think that the Michelis and company are very good moment, both of them. We are defending very well. That's why for the moment he is, he is not playing, but we have to make rotation. We have to play many games, so we are very happy with Mangala. No, no problem way, about him. Excuse me, in the way the competition for places, it's good for you, the fact that you know, he's finding it difficult to get the team because they're playing so well. I think the competition is very good for the players, but, um, but instead, uh, not, not only, the, not only is, is about the competition, why he doesn't play, 
I repeat that he must know the way we play in the twenty is not similar to other teams. Is there, is is there any concern? Um, is there any concern that you might be left a little, little bit <coughs> light up front with Negredo's departure? Obviously, Jovetic is is injured presently and has obviously had quite a lot of injury problems. Aguero has had his own injury problems and is still sort of working back to up. But is, is there any concern that you <coughs> might you might be a little bit short between now and and sort of the transfer window in that department on well. well it's important also to be clear about that huh? I explained that moment uh, we cannot miss Alvaro Negredo in this moment because he cannot play and I, I, look I know you've explained to us the reasons he's gone I just mean you know you've no, no you've I'm not explaining the reason why he's going you, you you tell me so we are concerned we cannot be concerned because if Alvaro Negredo was, was here he can he can play the second reason is uh, remember that we have restriction of UEFA this year. We can't have a more amount. We can't bring an expensive player and let, it, and, and let him out of the of the Champions League uh, list. I think there were important reasons why we 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 stay with just with this squad. In this moment, uh, Stefan is injured. Yes, of course we have just two strikers, but don't. Add also Sergio Aguero because Sergio is, is fit. Yeah. It doesn't have a problem. If you tell me it will be also fit, well, maybe we are concerned, but at this moment, I think that we have the squad we need and we'll see after what happened after the three or two months till, till January. But in this moment, I think that I'm not concerned about that. When will Jovic be fit? I suppose the next week. was not very important his injury. Just on Yaya, he was criticised a lot by the supporters for embracing the at the end of the game. Do you have to think about it? No, I, I, th I think that I answer enough questions about it. Yeah.